Uh, P.E. Mises, it's the best food that we've ever had. And I say that, that we've ever had the opportunity to own and use because it makes us successful in keeping fish alive and healthy. Fish that we would never normally even try to acquire. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We're talking about a new product to, uh, well, it's a new medication for fish, and it's, it's kind of revolutionary in terms of the way the product interacts with the aquarium environment. So tell me a little bit about this. I'm, I'm here, with, by the way, with Sean Hale. So Sean, tell me a little bit about this product. So what we actually have is uh, Parasil, Bacrosil, and Protoshield, and we take a shrimp shell biopolymer called Kytosan. We were noticing that uh, naturals were effective all over the world for treating animals and treating people, but as soon as we put it in the water, it was diluting as soon as it, it hit the water. And so if we could only get it to the fish in a high concentration without, without affecting gaseous bacteria. So we found a shrimp shell biopolymer called Kytosan. We impregnated the Kytosan with the matrix of natural oils, manuka oil, neem oil, limonene. That shrimp shell biopolymer has a negative charge and fish have a positive charge. So it actually serves as a carrier that brings the medication right to the fish, coat the fish for three days, skip over gas gaseous bacteria and not cause an ammonia spike inside your aquarium, therefore being reef safe and plant safe. So. That's an amazing breakthrough if it works. Have you had good success? You're yeah. getting good testimonials from your customers? Yeah, about a 90% success rate. We tested it at a lot of the fish stores. I was kind of nervous about bringing it in because it said herbal, because it said reef safe. I was afraid, oh, if I put this product out and it messes someone with the aquarium, I'm never going to hear the end of it. And so we tested it in-house. We have a lab in Dallas. We have an independent lab in Tampa Bay. And we also have a lab in Houston. And so all three of the labs did the study. We didn't see any uh, shrinkage in coral, no effect on like gonopores, no effect on, on anemones, no effect on um, uh, blood shrimp, macroalgaes, uh, zooanthids, things like that, SPS uh, monopores. So. And what, kind of, uh, what kind of ailments can you treat in an aquarium then? Um, so the Paris shield is more towards um, parasites like cryptocarian ick. Uh, the Bacter shield is uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Um, and then the protoshield is more protozoan infections. Um, it's really um, more, I would say that you would use the protoshield as more of a preventative. If you're bringing fish in, you don't quite know if it has ick on it yet. Um, if you do know that you have ick on the fish, I would, I would go up and gear up and get the pear shield. So. And I see that you're showing uh, an African cichlid here and also a clownfish, so I'm assuming it's fresh and salt water. Completely. Uh, reef safe as well. So. Good deal. Uh, how do people find this? What's it cost? That type of thing. Well, you know, we want you to go to your local dealer to buy it, to, to, be, to be honest. Um, but, um, you know, you can find it pretty much online anywhere. You can find it at your uh, dealers. It's, it's getting out there. At, at first, um, you know, it, it would be hard to find since Mardell just kind of came back onto the market. Um, but uh, you should be able to find it. If you can't find it at your dealers, you could probably find it um, at Amazon.com or things like that at MSRP. So. Very good. Good luck with the new product. All right. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. That's all for this FinCast. Uh, this is John. We're uh, reporting this time from MACNA 2015 in Washington, D.C., and I'll see you in the next FinCast.